In this video of Off the Hook, we descend to the deepest BMB in the world. Pull me. Oh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, and you're thinking, this is the set of Game of Thrones. But in fact, it couldn't be further from Northern Ireland. Today, we are in Wales, steeped in rich, beautiful history and countryside, and scenic views that you can't get anywhere else in the UK. But we're not here for that. Where we're going is actually under the ground, as we travel to the world's deepest Airbnb. And we were told to meet at a train station to meet our instructor. Welcome back to another episode of Off The Hook. And today, we find ourselves in Wales. Yes, and uh, so it's hard to believe this is a train station. It is, it is. If anyone else could see this, there's not a lot here but this box. Today, we are going down to the world's, not just in the UK and in Wales, the world's deepest Airbnb in the world. So it sits at 1,375 feet down. We go in at roughly 5pm and we don't come back out until tomorrow. Yes, it's an old abandoned slate mine that we will traverse. And at the bottom of it is an, an Airbnb. We packed our things and left the tiny train station to the foot of the mountain, which we would begin to traverse. After a long mountain pass, we would get to a lake where the equipment offices, where we would be suited up in harnesses and caving gear to descend down under the foot of the mountain to reach the Airbnb. But it turns out getting there meant walking up a slated path covered in abandoned slate from the old mine, and it was exhausting. I feel like I'm in Uncharted. I just feel that way. Am I supposed to be out of breath already? <laughs> <laughs> just to give people an idea of how far we've gone, there's the car. <laughs> that just looks so unstable. Yeah, looks like it might fall Do you down. Have any sort minute. of collapse. Can't believe I'm on the way to my B and B. It's a bit weird, isn't it? <coughs> just, Are you good? Just a minute. Just give me. You're doing well. We're okay. Wow. The scenery was distractingly beautiful, surrounded by piles of discarded slate that the miners in Victoria times set aside. It felt like no place on earth. And after a bit of sightseeing, we had finally reached the lake, midway up the mountain, where not only would we reach our base camp, where our equipment was being held, where we would get a nice view of the lake, which would be our last outside view before we went down into darkness. We took in the sights for one last time before heading into the White House to go over our safety briefings, sign our paperwork, and get into our equipment, which consisted of helmets, headlamps, safety harnesses, and Wellingtons. But at least I looked good doing it. Oh, now that, that is a yes. face. Right. We were ready to set out and down into the mine. And across the lake, we would get our first look at the terrifying door at the foot of the mountain, where we would descend 
for over 1,300 okay. feet okay. down. Okay. All right. It looks pretty dark in there. How ominous is this? It's, it's pretty terrifying, actually, because if you look through there, that is pretty that is dark. dark, isn't it? It's in the movie The Descent. Oh, why did you, why? <laughs> why would you do that? My favorite that? horror film. It will not be funny at any point to make that noise they make either. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. With one last glance at daylight, we the door and closed it behind us. What's your head? It's a little bit late for you. You're going too slow for my life. Sorry. Right. I'm gonna get some more. Whoa. Holy what? crap. That's insane, bro. I've got like a head torch as well, guys, but I've also got my little wrist thing, which is also a head one, but I thought, you know, a little hand. Hand torch can't hurt. Also something I saw in the descent. Why? I'm just saying. Stop, do, just honestly. Saying. It's too dark down here to, uh, <laughs> oh, you <it's> one. <laughs> oh. See, now this, this would be interesting. Work. If oh. you were to pick one, just out of curiosity, which one would you have So picked? the rule of a maze is always go left, keep going left until you can't go left no more, then backtrack and keep going left. So you would choose left? I'd choose left, is okay. it left? You pick, um... I mean, I think people would pick the right passage because it's huge. Oh, no, no, I see what he's doing. So he's doing a link. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, so you go, you go left. Right, you go that way. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. Do not <laughs> at any point think it's funny to make noise. Oh, my God. We're going down there? Oh, Will's not going to like that. Oh my god. This is pretty horrendous. Holy shit. This is insane. Well, you're not gonna like this. Awful. You're awful. not gonna like this. Just being around there on your own is pretty awful. You had someone with you. Yeah. What am I not gonna like? Is it big? Um, Does it have many legs? I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you go first, Will. Does it have many legs? Does it have lots? May go first. There you go. Oh, off you go then. Are we actually going down there? Yeah. That's where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Brilliant. Did you say Victorian times? Yep. yep. Imagine doing all this just to go to bed. Yep. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Yeah. Hey what was that? Oh, you are. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. What? <sighs> Oh, please tell me that was somebody. Ow. Yep, I see why the helmets are necessary. So, miners weren't six foot tall then? No, they were shorter back in the day. Um... Carried on down the stairs, and it seemed to go on forever until we finally came to the next level. If you tripped, oh, you can't get an idea of how big and wide this is in here. Just look at this. Are there any bats down here? Uh, no, we're too noisy. Oh, this is insane, bro. Victorians were shit at stairs. They really were. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I can't, I can't do any better. <laughs> At no point did they think two idiots like us would be walking down. No, they did not carve this out of stone so two fat men <laughs> could come sleep at the bottom and complain about the Wi-Fi connection. Two tit-heavy men <laughs> walking down them. Oh my God. This is mental. I think this might be the most extreme B&B on the planet. I think it might be. It might just be. Tell you what, I think it's time for a light test. Shall we do a light test where we turn it oh. all off and see how visual it is down here? <laughs> Ready? Other than your GoPro, bro. It's like my eyes are closed. They can't adjust to anything either because no. your eyes are constantly trying. You, you... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's the only reason I wanted to do that. Now at this level we stopped, so our instructor could tell us how to use our harness. All the dust is like heavy and still. It's like there's a different atmosphere. It's a bug hunt, sir. It's a bug, it's a bug hole, oh, look at that one. All right, we just had our safety briefing, which surprisingly, we passed. <laughs> Neither of us is still alive. And it basically showed us how to use our harnesses. Oh, I'm hoping we're not going down there. Well, we are. are we... Oh, we are going down there. I'm gonna go first. 
His oh, wife gone. fall. Yeah, did you see that? That's how... That's what he does. That's he how it works. He's doing something and then... Man, there better be a... Actually, saying that, if he does slip, I've got the best view here. Yeah, just get the content with So I'm guessing these were like original? Yeah, so yeah. if you look back behind it... Oh, yeah. This is all original. Yeah, imagine doing this in the dark, all the original hook links and stuff. But they... Ow! Yeah, I see the helmets. Right, what you don't want to... You don't want to think about things like cave-ins. Well, what? the descent was funny, but that's not. <laughs> Because that must have happened to a few of them, surely, I when they're they digging. Really no, when, I, when they're digging, new bits, if you know what I mean. Well, they'll be able to detect me from my Morrison's bag. They'll be able to smell the pork pie I have in mine. After joking around, we stopped when we approached our first major obstacle. Uh, Hang on a minute. What? Oh, that's that bridge. Oh, oh my God. God. That is a chasm. Yeah. I got a rock. Okay. Ready? See how, see how far down this is. Can I throw mine? Yeah. yeah. Imagine if someone just goes, ah! Then you just hear all the drums beat. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, we have a bridge to cross, but we need to attach ourselves to it. We're going to cross that? Yeah. Oh, I'll go first. Really? I'll go first. Original bridge. Original, brilliant. How brilliant. do we cross it? I reckon. Go to your right. Oh my God. That's quite a big step across to there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it does. We had to cross the wooden bridge, what was left of it. We all went first. Ooh. Oh, this is honestly my yeah, nightmare. This is, quite, this, is quite, this is quite weird. Just put two feet on there. I know, it looks easy. There we go. Oh, you, yeah, you try that. Right, that looks... Oh, you go across. Hold on. Oh, my God. Yeah, just walk. Shut up. You don't have a fear of heights. It's the fact you've got a Tesco's bag hanging from you. Well, that is a long way down, though, if you look. Look how far that is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's hard. We don't want to do is look that way. Shut up. Okay, man, 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 man. Because there's not a drop. <laughs> well done, mate. How how many more of those are there? Seven. It just feels like I'm in it. And all this to get to an Airbnb, I can't even imagine what the structure's like when we get down there. Ah! You are a tit. <laughs> Life-size tit. Yeah. Holy crap. Right, oh, Dude, give rock. me a rock. Get that big bit of slate there. And that's just what this used to be attracted it and then it just yeah. fell away. It didn't fall away, they, they blew it up. Let's go all the way up. So when we come out tomorrow, guys, we're going up there. Up there, look, that is a long the thing is, when you see it from there, you're like, okay, that's where we're going up. But we're starting down. We're going down there. Right the way down there. We're going all the way down in this mine. We began our descent using an old minecart trail. We were told that the London Shard could fit inside of this mine shaft. That's how far down we had to tread. 30 quid to clean your Airbnb. And these guys are having to carry it. You all right? I'm leaving a tip. That's what I'm doing. Great, great location. Host was amazing, but my B&B was covered in dust. <laughs> Imagine being that dick. There wasn't enough rocks. <laughs> <laughs> too much slate for my too, liking. Too much slate. We had reached yet another level and were instantly greeted with our next major obstacle, bigger than the bridge. Are we up sailing down? I prefer the bridge, mate. I prefer yeah, the bridge. I don't know. I, I don't know. We're all just going really yeah, just a bit quiet. Yeah, just 
stare at things. Who's going first? Me. I don't want to be lingering on the edge. <coughs> okay, attach self to this rope. <coughs> we were to abseil down the sheer rock face to the shaft below, which I handled very well. Don't like heights, do you? No. It's not your thing, is it? Okay. Two. So you can hold on to this as you get to the edge. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you're going to hold on to this. <coughs> when I go backwards. Uh, you're going to walk down and then you'll swing out a little bit. Um, so back. To the void. Yeah. My okay oh to be fit to that point, oh but yeah, God. just so I can get a bit of. <sighs> I bet you regret going first because you're going to be down in that hole on your own. So go down to your left. Oh. So keep walking down to your left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> what, and then just let go and swing out? Uh, yeah, keep walking forwards. I can't. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> well done, mate. Oh, uh. that's so horrendous. Okay. Look, um, you're, um, oh my God. Use your feet. Yeah. Just turn yourself around. That's it. I can't. Use your hands. How's that working out for you? Oh, fuck. Use your hand. Use your hand. Take, what, your, take, hand. take your hand off. All right. It's not going to go anywhere. Your hands. I can't. Um, right, just slowly start lowering Yeah, down. just lower me down and I can turn around. You're doing great, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Use your hands to turn yourself around a bit. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, my God. Oh, I hate my fucking life. I hate my fucking life. He's <sighs> terrified. He did, oh. did, he did, did oh. quite well. Oh. Oh. How you doing, Daz? Good, just go. Let's get me down. Oh. 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 Fuck. Oh my fucking God. Oh. Okay, equipment check out. Fuck that. The rope. So literally, I am down here on my own now. This is honestly, this is uh, that, that shit tests me in life. Made it to the bottom with my fear of heights still intact and it was now Will's turn. Honestly, that was horrendous. I'm shaking so much. Now we have to watch him and he is up there where my light is. And two. Okay, there's... Hold on to the uh, black rope for a bit of support as you get to it. Looked down with my torch and saw how far it was. Oh, God. Okay, mate, I sort of... Oh! Okay, yeah. Oh, no. is, it, is it bothersome? Actually, that's... Uh, that's, um... Yeah. Holy... Go on then, just go then. Holy sh... Yeah, I thought so. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That... That is horrendous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see why you couldn't sort of. Ah, okay. I've got my feet. We're good. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Jesus Christ. Woo. Oh mate, that is a long way. Whew. <laughs> yeah. How was that? Yeah. It was on the floor. Me and Will have made it down safely and both needed a change of underwear. We waited for our instructor to come down and meet us at the bottom, and what came next made us understand why we needed Wellington boots. No, I'm really glad that my wellies don't have a hole in. Mine don't. Okay, so this pole. I'm literally just balancing along it. I'm going along this chain up here. <sighs> Tell you what, if I've ever installed this pipe, I'm gonna hire as a plumber. 
so I've got to lean back now. Oh, I see what you mean about getting caught between the chain and the thingy. Oh. This is like how the Goonies felt. Except when they remake it, I'll be skinny and Chinese. Wow. What an adventure. Yep. Once again, on my own, look. Here comes Captain Bath Plug. <laughs> How you doing? How do you get through here? No, it's when you realise you're at the back on your own. That is weird. Yeah, it's not nice, is it? <sighs> Don't know about you, but if these mattresses aren't comfortable. Whoa, another chamber. So what would be in these? Have a look. Anglo-American <coughs> oil company. Ah, oil. Yeah, so. yeah I see. So it, flood, it keeps the tunnel not flooded. It's, um, that, that, you see where the red thing is? Yeah. So that's, uh, that's a ball cock. Yeah. So you, when it fills up, the ball cock opens the valve. And shh. water down it, and it powers your, uh, your hot drinks tonight. <coughs> that is insane. So this water structure, there's like a little shuttlecock down there, and this powers our Airbnb. After seeing where our electricity would come from, we pushed further onward into the mine. Cool. All right, onward and upward, people. All in the pipe. Said every horror movie ever. Yeah. Jesus, it just keeps going. But how do you, how long would it would take to like dig a whole mine out like this? Well, the majority of the work was done in about 18 years. 18, yeah. Sounds, sounds so all right. We'd been going for hours and hit yet another major obstacle. Rusty cable being running diagonally down. Yeah. You do not want to impact that at any kind of pace. So we don't know it is. It's it will, still. It will, it will, I'm okay. But you don't want to end up not giving it enough go that you don't get across. A moderate amount of power. Do you want your left to guess what a moderate amount of power is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let it. Like it. Whew. Well done. Yep. Okay, good. Will had made it across and was showing off, but now it was my turn. Pull me. Oh, hand. Hand. Okay. Okay. Pull me up. Oh. I don't like that at all. Yeah, my fucking bag, my carrier bag got caught on the fucking thing. <laughs> of course it did. Of course it did. We had made it across and no one had died. We saved our batteries, continued the descent until we finally reached the Airbnb. Uh, head in through that door. What the hell? Oh my God. Wow. Are you serious? No way. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Look at that! I wouldn't believe this was here. This, this is insane. They've even lit the hot tub for us, right? Is that the hot tub? <laughs> We had finally arrived at Deep Sleep, the deepest Airbnb in the world, and it was unbelievable. It consisted of a bunch of small wooden buildings and a special room carved out of the slate called the Grotto. There were many rooms, a compost toilet, and even a dimly lit pool for your viewing pleasure. There was food, water, 
and everything else you can imagine from an Airbnb. All brought down here to create this amazing underground hotel. I found a map which had the entire layout of the mine and the journey we just accomplished. And we just saw the journey we took upon this map. We essentially started up here. And then we literally came all the way down. I don't know the exact path because there's too many tunnels. And we came all the way along here. The building with the old newspaper prints was here. And then we are somewhere around here. Underground. And there's all this is tunnels and shafts. After a long day's descent, it was finally time to have a meal. But we were surprised at just how good the food was down here. Amazing. Look at that. Salad down here. Amazing. Why'd you make it weird? No, it's, not, it's not weird. It's nice. It's weird now. It's not nice. It's not weird. How's your food? Weird. Weird. <laughs> After an awkward meal, we all decided to use the toilet for the first time. Uh, it's comfy. I can see why people lived it. Will! He bloody has. Oh. No, that's a shame. How has he got that up there? That flag is the bane of my life. Everywhere I go, he manages the, the lengths that he goes to to arrange to have that fucking picture put in random places. I'm going to burn it. How did he get out there? He didn't do that. Absolute dick. <laughs> Weird roof. Before settling in for the night, we decided to do a lights out test. All right, uh, if you turn your camera off because it's blinding the camera. Okay, so we're gonna do a lights off challenge. Let's <coughs> see how dark it is in here. You ready? Not really. Okay. It's actually really, like I cannot see a thing. It's pretty dark. Wait a minute. You're an idiot. What? Why are you what? holding me? It's dark out It's here. not that dark. It is. It's really dark. After a busy day, it was time to turn in, and Will had picked the grotto. Oh, it's dead. It's got a heated blanket. Yes. What the hell he's doing in his shed? <clears throat> the next morning, it was time for breakfast before we made our ascent out of the cave. What's that? What are you carrying? Are you filming? <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> what are you carrying? Bag of my shit. You don't have to carry that out, do we? You, you got it in there, no? Oh, okay. Oh, fucking hell. I was picturing having to follow you carrying that bag of shit. Someone has to carry that out. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very weird experience. Yeah, it is. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Breakfast consisted of warm croissants and other pastries and cereals, and we'd need the energy, because to get out we'd have to climb back up that shaft that was as tall as the shard, and began our journey to the surface. Do you know the Muffin Man? Through that hole up there. That is wow. Shit. There it is. We made it. That is amazing. Oh. 
Ah. My eyes are like, they hurt a little. Insane. Strange to say that it seems so quiet out here. Inside. Yeah, because there's always this atmosphere in the background. Now it's like silence. Can you believe we did that? No. And look at that. So we went in there. We were under this mountain. And we went down. And we went down. The and you could the fit the shard under that mountain. That's unbelievable. Me and Will have done many cool things, but this was one of the most enjoyable experiences and grueling experiences we've ever done on the channel. And as we tasted fresh air, we had a new appreciation for it, and so decided to take a seat by the lake and reflect on our experience underground. I don't know about you. <clears throat> that was unbelievable. That was, that's an experience like no other. That I really will remember is. that forever. That, that was, and just the feeling coming out. Um, so anyone, guys, if you're looking for an incredible, as in one of a kind Airbnb stay, look up, go below, um, deep sleep. All the links will be in the description, guys. And honestly, the staff, shout out to them. They have been so accommodating, so helpful, and I trusted them with my life. So yeah, if you want to experience this, and I recommend you do. Well, I mean, if you guys want to see us do anything else, you have any recommendations or ideas, leave it in the comments section. And uh, if you want to see a new series on extreme B&Bs from around the world, that could be something. Oh, so I'm in for that, definitely. So uh, until next time. Until next time, I'm going to go home and poo into a normal toilet. I think if I move now, I may poo. Sorry, so I just need a few minutes. You stay go. there. Our journey had come to an end. It was time to go home and get warm. Let us know in the comments what else you'd like us to try, as who knows how many other experiences lay out there. Until next time.